You know, here in, Ed in Edmonton, in Canada, we're heading for a new year. And how important it is to get our minds set. Because so many things have happened in the year that are good, so many things that have happened in the year that are bad. But we really need to let Jesus cleanse us so that what we think, where we're going, what we're thinking is good things. Because he said, very importantly, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are true, he, the Lord is really impressed with how we think. This is a big deal to him. You know, I was, I was listening to a fellow, I don't know if he was a believer or not, but he was talking about uh, really the, what happens in the brain if you're positive or where you're negative, and how so often we just think we're doing life when we're actually very negative. Uh, you know, we complain about this, we complain about that. And you know, there's things around us to complain about. We gotta figure out how to do that without being a downer in our own minds because imagination and what goes on in our mind is very important. How many of you have spent all kinds of time in your mind going through all ki kinds of scenarios about things that you're ticked off at maybe, and then it never happens. And you've wasted all that adrenaline thinking about things that are not going to happen or things that shouldn't be going on even in your head because it's so important that you have, your head is blessed. You know, blessed, the, the opposite of the word blessed means to be miserable. And how important it is that we are blessers on the earth and not curses, that we bless. You know, Satan's key thing is to bring chaos. When he came and his dominion took over the earth, when man gave it over to him, he began to just operate in chaos. You see, the first brothers, one killed the other. And as sin just brings chaos, it brings confusion, it brings heartbreak. And chaos is so interesting. You look at the earth now, and there's purposeful chaos. There's chaos everywhere. And what is, it gets you uneven, it, it gets you off balance. It, you know, you, you got no answers because it's just chaos going on. And maybe, Maybe you're going in this year and there's chaos around you. I want you to know, if you are a believer today, that the Prince of Peace dwells in you and peace gives you authority on the earth. You stand in the place of peace. Yes, it could be chaos there. Yes, it could be something else over there, but you have authority in peace. And by peace, you can speak to that thing and command it to be still. If you are part of the chaos, if you're part of the confusion, you have no power. That's why the Lord said, uh, you know, if you keep your mind on me, if you keep your eyes on me, you will have peace. And that can be difficult when things are in your face. Is that right? So that's why we really need to put time aside. Listen, stop what you're doing. Put time aside just to be with him because his presence gives you peace. His, his, he is the shepherd. And it says, the shepherd hear his voice, or the sheep hear his voice. And, and if you're all busy and your mind's all this and all that, you don't have time to hear his voice. You have to silence yourself so that when you go into a busy day, you're already connected. You're already hearing. And you can go through the right ways and talk to the right people and say the right things. Why? You've already got his presence with you, the acknowledging of his presence with you. Thank you, Father. So, so we are to be blessers. We are to bring peace. It says the children of God, the sons of God are peacemakers. We bring peace. So I'm praying for you this New Year's that you would be a peacemaker. If right now you're in turmoil, let's stop right now. Stop whatever you're doing right now. And let's ask the Holy Spirit to break the power of every lie against you by the spirit of truth and that the spirit of peace, listen, his peace, not you trying for peace, his peace, the actual power of peace, that his peace would touch your soul today. His peace would touch your mind today. His peace would surround you today in the name of Jesus. And will, will you agree with him today that you bind that wind, you bind that chaos, you bind that misery, you bind that which is against you, you bind it through the name of Jesus. And in his name, you speak peace, be still to troubled waters. I'm going into 2024 with peace. I'm going into 2024 with the Prince of Peace. I'm going into 2024 being blessed 
and not cursed in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you in the new year.